Ladies and gentlemen, Guardian Games 2023 is here for the next three weeks, and Titans were already cheating two minutes after Guardian Games went live. I swear, when I loaded into the tower after reset, the Titan banner was high as a kite. And there's no way that they got that far in only three minutes after Guardian Games went live. All jokes aside, we already know that Bungie gave Titans a little boost, more like a lot of a boost, at the start of Guardian Games. However, that's not what we're talking about today. Today, I want to show you guys the best way to farm Platinum Medallions. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. No, it is not Shirochi. No, it is not the Breakneck Campaign Mission. And no, it is not the Graspa Avarice Dungeon that a lot of people have been wasting their time doing. Well, yes, you can get Platinum Medallions from doing these, but it'll definitely take a lot longer than the way I'm going to mention in just a few. However, if you are trying to get Platinum Medallions while still trying to level up craftable weapons, then yes, you can do one of these three. But like I said, it will take longer. Now, the fastest and most efficient way to get Platinum Medallions is by beating the final boss in the Shattered Throne Dungeon. Let me explain how this works and why it actually is the best way to get Platinum Medallions. First, you want to make sure that your Guardian Games class item is on. Lord knows that I forgot this way too much while changing my loadouts and trying to do activities. Then, head over to Eva Levante in the tower and pick up the Platinum Cards Raids. It's in the card section, first column, second row. Next, you can get either a checkpoint from someone for the final boss in the Shattered Throne or on an alt if you guys are doing this farm in a team. And let me tell you, doing this farm as a team is a lot better and it does go a lot faster. Or you can just do the dungeon and get to the final boss yourself. If you're on a team, go ahead and load into the Shattered Throne on your alternate character. As soon as it looks like you are going to start flying into the dungeon with your team, go ahead and change your character to the character that you actually want to get the Platinum Medallions on and join back up with your fire team. Also, make sure that character that you're joining back on to get the Platinum Medallions actually has the Platinum Cards raid. Then, start the encounter, kill all three Super Knights, kill all the adds, then the boss. At the end, don't forget to give your teammates um, any accommodations needed then go ahead and load back into the dungeon on your alternate character again, and then repeat the process. After you repeat the process, you are pretty much done with the Platinum card. And the reason being is because you only need two runs to complete this card instead of three runs like you would for Shiro Chi, Breakneck, or Grasp of Avarice. Another good thing about this dungeon is that you also have a chance to get Silver Medallions from killing the final boss as well. After you beat the encounter a second time, go ahead and claim your reward and then head back to Eva Levante in the tower to get another card and then do everything all over again. Now, don't forget that after you get three Platinum Medallions, you need to actually deposit them in the podium because you won't be able to grab another Platinum card from Eva unless there is actually room for a medallion. And with that said, happy farming everyone. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like and share the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go, 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 go.